right about now. What are we looking at over here? This is incredible work by Mobius. Um, he's an amazing artist. He has um, lots of worthwhile comics to check out if you're ever in uh, either a comic book store, you're browsing through Comixology or other um, comic book accessible apps. Um, definitely check out his work. It's absolutely amazing. As you can see, um, this is just the first few pages of The Long Tomorrow. It's issue number four of Mobius. There are nine issues, I believe, in total. And they're all beautiful pieces of work. So let's take a look over here. A lot of this actually reminds me, and this is one of the reasons why I wanted to show this page. It just reminds me of Blade Runner. You know, just um, just her look as well. I love all the little detail that's put on. And similar to um, Jumbo Sama's work, it's not incredibly complicated. There aren't a lot of complicated shadows and details on a face, etc. But despite that, it still retains this very mature sort of um, vibe about it. As far as the art goes, I mean, the story as well, of course. Um, it's just beautiful work. I'm just going to select something to demonstrate it. Yeah, just paying attention to that. You know, that right there is just another form of feathering to indicate shadows right here as well. That's just beautiful work. And the sophistication of the face, if you just pay attention to it, the expression there, um, is a great understanding of anatomy. I mean, look at the hand, right? That's also really well done. And just moving on over here, and you guys can see in both of these panels, actually, even though it's really, um, it's far from simple, the background is solid. And this is something that we were talking about before in the stream was, you know, how sometimes people um, don't know what to draw, so they just keep the background solid, solid color. But, as you could see, and especially in the very last panel of this page, that's not a problem. <laughs> I mean, just look at the amount of detail that goes into just pretty much everything. From people, to the store, to the logos. Just, you know, incredible amount of work incredible amount of detail but still retains like a simple form to it as well um but you could see that he has everything down perspective is down anatomy is down uh, colors are beautiful um just different and also the creativity and imagination. That's one of the things that I absolutely love about his work. And if you guys pick up this issue and um, look through it, you will see exactly what I'm talking about because this is just the tip of the iceberg. Like if you go through all of his, um, all of the episodes, all the issues, you will see the extent of his creativity and his imagination and the kind of characters he comes up with, with, the kind of scenes he comes up with. The story is also really incredible. And this is just an example of how fun his work is. Like a robot kind of like coming in, serving drinks. Then we got this really weird statue right here that looks like a bird that's upside down. That's very cool. And 
and just look at things like this. That's also beautiful work. You could tell that he exaggerates features as well, but this is, and this is something that we were talking about in a previous stream, that it's best to first nail down anatomy. Like, look at how well he drew that hand. It's excellent. Excellent looking hand. So much variation to the line. Uh, he gives it dimension by adding certain details. But he's also able to exaggerate his work because of that. Because everything else looks so well done and so true to, to life, in a sense, that it just looks well. It, it looks well um, exaggerated. And this is also, in terms of composition, it's beautiful. Even though it's such a busy scene, there's so much going on over there, you still see that the protagonist is right here. You know, there, it doesn't get in the way of telling the story. All the detail that's put in there, and granted also the colors tend to pop out. Um, what is in the foreground, what's in the background. But all of this, all of these um, elements create such an amazing page, amazing comic book. Just want to zoom out so you guys could see it in its full glory. The content is also adult. Just a fair warning, putting that out there. It is adult content. Um, but it, it's just for the sake of paying attention to the art and see how much he's not even skipping out like look at the balcony right here he's still putting in people over the inside over there so he really creates this world he really takes the time to um, put in every single detail there these guys right here as well that are standing on the balcony it's fantastic. He really gets in, into uh, his creativity zone and brings out the best in pretty much everything. Like, this is wonderful as well. Like, it, he brings everything to life. Brings the background characters to life. Like, these two are having some interesting conversation. You know, she, she seems pretty shocked by what this guy is saying. And... Just his background, uh, I mean, his, his clothes. Oh, what is that? His clothes right there, that's also fun. That detail and the creativity of the design itself um, adds so much to it. I also pay attention to the clothes design, right? That's a lot of fun. It's like a mix between like futuristic and also like 17th century garbs that, that sort of kind of reminds me of and even let's see if we can Check that out right there. So this is just to point out how much background is also important in in creating this world and creating whatever it is that you're making. It's not just about the pinup, you know, it's not just about putting in all the effort into like the main character and making him look cool. It's creating an entire scene that just has awesome design, awesome um, storytelling and events in a sense. There's also this group right here and they're huddled together talking about something and their clothes design, like that looks like right there, like something to do with cards, not really. Just reminds me of, uh, I guess, the 
clothes and cards and just the design of it in a sense reminds me of that and then her outfit also adds to like that 17th century um, fashion this little detail over here and over here all of this at the end of it all creates this amazing um, an amazing scene so just like John Buscema's work this is incredibly inspiring the amount of time that was spent I would imagine on each panel is um, overwhelming I'm sure or it could have been quick you know he was a an absolutely amazing artist so could have been that it didn't take him much time at all to actually create these panels but that's because he drew so much well enough about gushing about um, Mobius check it out it's all worth all the time um, and money spent on finding it and acquiring it and all the other issues that follow it's it's this work is fantastic so with that said guys let's jump into today's stream